Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. All those of you catching the replay, it might be uh, afternoon or evening by the time you get this, because those are the main people on, right out of the gates. Are those of you watching the replay? Whew, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Let's get on here. Excited to talk about this topic today. Let me make sure the old live is working. Always like to do that before I talk for 15 minutes. Hello, hello, hello. You catching the replay, it might be... Uh, if you're catching the replay, give me a hashtag replay in the comments. Let me know if this is your first time listening or not. Uh, I'd love to know. All right. Who's ready for Monday? <laughs> who's ready for Monday? Excited to be here. Excited to be here. All right, all right, all right. Let me know if this is your first time listening. Uh, definitely stream into a few areas here. Uh, I checked the comments afterwards, but uh, and I got I can see your comments, most of them. Uh, so excited to be here and talk about this topic today. But let me know that you can hear me loud and clear, that you're alive and kicking. Let me know whether you're rocking and rolling, ready for Monday, uh, where you're at. And uh, yeah, let me know if this is your first time listening here or not. Excited to be on here. Uh, I do my best Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays to bring you a little morning mind tune-up uh, and allow you to kind of expand your mind, see things through a different lens and filter, um, and maybe there was something that was frustrating you, bothering you, upsetting you, holding you back, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and a different perspective could make a... Uh, could make a big difference. And I know in my life, uh, the coaching that I've received, the coaching that I, I do with others, uh, you know, my, my job's not to tell you what to do specifically. Um, you know, even for me through my life at times, I've been looking for people to tell me what to do. And then, you know, when somebody's giving you an answer, an answer that can work, the reality is when it doesn't resonate, then you're frustrated because you don't want to do that. And you're looking for an answer. Here's what to do to get more business. Here's what to do to do this. Here's what to do. Here's what to do. But why aren't we doing it? Right? Because a lot of times it's not the what that's the problem. Uh, it's not even the how that's the problem. It's that in our mind, we're viewing things in a way that is holding us back from taking any action. Awesome from Canada, from Florida, from Australia. Fantastic. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, oh man, there's a whole bunch of you on here. Well, Michael Gebbin, for any of those of you who don't know me, I'd, I'd be curious in the comments how many of you, I mean, I'm on my personal page here as well, but there's probably a bunch of you who don't even know who I am. So uh, I ran a video production company for over 14 years and I shot... Over 300 weddings, specialized in the same day edit, traveled all over. I uh, got to work with some celebrity-esque people in the thought leader speaker space like Tony Robbins and Gary Vaynerchuk and all those people. Been to Sir Richard Branson's private island four times. I don't say any of that to impress, but to impress upon you that this 33-year-old who has lived in the same small town of about 26,000 people here in the Midwest has been able to do all these things without having to move to a big city like L.A. or New York. Um without having to, you know, look older and all these other things. So let's get into it today. And if you enjoy this, give it some likes and love. And uh, always let me know in the comments if this is resonating with you. So you're not where you think you should be. Things moving too slow. Should you be farther along? You feel like you should be farther along than you are. Now, what I want to ask everybody, if you could leave in the comments, is does that relate to you? This and, and obviously a lot of you coming on here because the titles seem to really matter because I look the same every single time. So you're curious to hear what I'm going to say about this, but not where you think you should be. Are things moving too slow? Do you think you should be somewhere other than you are, i.e. you thought by now you'd be farther along, right? How many people can, can relate to that? Uh, so I made a post uh, this past weekend. And I'll just read this verbatim for you. This is on my personal page. If you aren't on my personal page, follow me there. I also do a bunch of other little inspiring things there as well. Um, so for a while now, I've been practicing not judging myself for the gap between where I am and where I want to be. Just loving where I am. We are ever evolving and ever expanding and the gap will never go away. This is the key that I want you to hear. So this gap from the title of this video, this gap between where you currently sit right now in your reality, what money is in your bank account, right? The debt that you do or do not have, the relationships that you do or do not have, all these things, where you sit right now relative to where you believe you should be, where you think that you should be, right? And I've, I've had this. I mean, I lived the majority of my life, which I'll read the rest of this, with that like 
hardcore, I'm never where I should be. When I was a little kid, I wanted to get out of school. And I'll just read the rest. So for most of my uh, 33 years, I always looked to the future. When in school, I didn't want to be in school. When self-employed, I wanted to make more money, better jobs, traveling jobs. When I got all of that, then I wanted to travel less, less jobs, etc. So when I arrived in my future, I changed it and did not want it anymore. So I kept chasing. That has absolutely been exhausting way to live. So now I practice gratitude and being in the moment. Now I'm reprogramming my mind each and every single day, creating a default new program. Rather than live for the future, I live for the now because the now is all there really is. So this idea that really right now, whatever gap that you have between where you are and where you think you should be is created by you and no one else. Which means if it's created by you, then you can do something about it. And what is this future that you should be at further along than where you are? Relative to what? Relative to whom? Right? Relative to who we're comparing ourselves to? Because at times, that's one of the biggest challenges as well, is we're in constant comparison of someone else. Uh, but the example that I've given before, and if this is resonating, leave me a comment. Let me know that it's resonating. Let me know that it's hitting. Let me know where you sit with this topic as well. If you enjoy it, give it some likes and love. I, I, like, I love the interaction. I, 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 you know, I, I don't just do this. <laughs> Uh, it helps me to talk these things out loud for sure, and uh, this is the, the work I'm doing one-on-one in my coaching, but for, for me, practicing this for over a decade of doing this work right here, uh, I love to do it. And so if I can bring some relief to some one of you listening, uh, to bring some ease, to give a different shift so that you can really flourish, so you can thrive, so you can move forward more powerfully, so you can go upon this week right now, your day-to-day and have it be a little different than it has been before. And so what I found is that when I realized that I have control over this, that I created this metaphoric future that I can never seem to catch up to, that's absolutely exhausting because when I actually catch it, I don't want it, and now I change it. And again, how many of you can relate that, that if you really stopped and you looked, that you could see that you have achieved many things, right? You've achieved many things in your life. Many of you may have gone backwards, you may have gone forwards, but some of you right now, you've made far more money than you did 10 years ago, but yet somehow you need more. And what I've found is is that when I can, and again, I use the word practice because sometimes we use trying. And trying at times means we're not doing anything, we're just thinking about it. Practicing, if you practice something, if you practice to become a better shooter, a better editor, a better writer, you practice to become a better basketball player, baseball player, hit the ball better, be a better golfer, you practice. And you practice and you practice and practice until you, well, get better and better and better. And now rather than not being able to do something, you can do something. And so for me... It's been a practice of reprogramming my mind. Those that I work with one-on-one, it's reprogramming the mind to get out of the default ways that we've been running, right? So a lot of us, you know, if you're 30, 40 years old, you've been potentially running on autopilot for some time now, and you think that that's just the way things are going to be. But if you were dreaming about the future when you were 15, and you're dreaming about the future now, It's one thing to dream from a place of possibility. It's another thing to dream from a place of frustration, right? Big difference if you're dreaming from frustration or if you're dreaming from possibility, right? If you're dreaming from a place of like, ah, I can't wait till I get that and I get that and I achieve that and I do that. And then when I do that, that'll be, bah, right? Right, mastery. So, What I love about mastery that some of my coaches and mentors, Raymond, have have helped me is mastery is never ending. Mastering is is continual evolution. Mastery is continued growth, right? Not from a place of lack, but just from a place to continue to get better, to evolve, to grow, to be excellent. But that doesn't mean that you're not – see, for me, it's been getting into a place each and every single day that I'm not not successful today, that I'm not not excellent today. We're all doing the best with what we know right now. Right now. 
So there's things you will learn, you will think about that will shift your world right now on this session that'll have your next days, weeks, and months be different. And whether it's me or anybody else, that is constantly happening. But my goal is not to just have you get a piece of information, yeah, that, that's cool, and then you go on your way and you default run the program that's been running. But rather, if that program's working, my thing is, you know, you always hear the cliche, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, I think there's still that level of improvement and growth that we all want, but simultaneously, at times, we've got something working really, really well, and we break it, and then it doesn't work at all. And so, at times, because you're not certain, for a lot of my life, when I had influential people tell me to do something, tell me that this isn't good enough, or I shouldn't do this, da-da-da-da-da-da-da, because I wasn't certain, I wasn't confident, I had low self-worth, low self-esteem, low self-confidence, uh, on a lot of levels. You know, people know me a long time, I question that, but I did. Even though I, I confidently did certain things and achieved certain things, I still would question a lot how I thought. Is that right? They probably know better. They make more money. They have a bigger business. Again, how many of you can relate? There's between everything I've got on here right now, I see about 30, 40 people uh, on here right now. I'd love to know uh, where you guys are sitting right now with all this. I can see a lot of the comments, so I'm going to read some of those here in just a second. Um, and But let me know. If you're enjoying it, give some likes and love. Let me know in the comments. Relate if you can relate. And also, let me know where you sit on this. So I'm going to read through some of this for a second. What we've got, we've got some people from all over the place, too. What's a good paying job for a freelancer to be able to eventually start your own video production company? What's a good paying job for a freelancer to eventually be able to come back to that in a second? Chicago, first time. Yeah, let me know if this is your first time or how many times you've been on here. Michael Williams stressing about hitting 30. I'm older, I have kids, debt, and I feel like I'm financially further behind other people my age, but I realize that I cannot judge myself through my perception of how other people's lives look. And I want to define that right there. Other people's lives look. I just put a photo up on my personal page um, that's a journey with my wife. I highly suggest that you, that you check it out because... You know, we see thumbs up and smiling face and all these wonderful things. And, you know, I am always doing my best to provide inspiration, encouragement, um, to provide pers perspectives, to think about things differently. So I'm always using my life as a, as a learning uh, tool for others. So I'm willing to be vulnerable, willing to share, willing to, you know, put myself out there at times so that people can not just see some rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns human being where – you know, it seems that, oh, you know, not just me, but you could say, oh, that person, everything they do just touch, they touch turns to gold and da, 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 da. So I wanted to share this journey of how, you know, I have the relationship I have with my wife now and how in 20, we broke up for a few years, got back together. It was okay. Not great. Didn't even know if I wanted to marry her. And in 2014, I wanted to make a shift. And I write about that. So I, I highly suggest you check that out because for me, how other people's lives look, most of us are making a lot of assumptions, whether it's even influential people, entertainers, uh, people on YouTube, whatever, we're all on some level curating things. Now, I curate things too, but I share pretty much everything. And so I constantly remind myself that what I have is what I need and I need to knock it down because continuously strive, keep on doing what I'm doing, love it and do more work of what I love. Regret sucks life, uh, so remove regret. The feeling I used to get from not being where I wanted to be has gone, from frantically trying to survive to feeling excited about where I'm headed. Yeah, and I love that from Felix. That is so powerful. That's the shift, right? The evolution from dreaming about the future from a place of fear and frustration and, 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 and oh my gosh, what's going to happen to possibility and excitement and opportunity, right? And so being content, not, people think of the word content as lazy. Oh, if he's content, he's not growing. He's, he's lazy. He don't do anything, right? But if you become very apathetic and content from a negative, like, well, life's just the way it is. I mean, you know, and you're in this kind of negative state versus I'm grateful for what I have. I'm excited about where I'm going, and I love what I'm doing. And some of you might not right now. You know, sometimes I made a post this weekend, and somebody said something about a perspective shift is all they needed. They could view it differently. 
And I said, sometimes in a career, a perspective shift is all one needs, and other times they need to get out of that career. They need to move from that location. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That's why I like to dig in one-on-one, -on -one, you know, as the mind mechanic, as I say, you know, this ability to see, are we in alignment? Is there gas in the tank? You know, do you need new spark plugs? You need a jump start? You know, what is it that you need? My one-on-one -on -one work is designed the way I say, when I hear you, I can help you. Because for me, I can see all these comments, I can say certain things, but I love to hear because there's things I pick up on that are your blind spots that you can't even pick up on yourself. And I've had to have people do that with me. So gratitude equals altitude, love that. I'm studying to become a private pilot while I cross the country as a truck driver. Regardless of how good I believe I am at anything, there's always room for improvement. Love that. Uh, just had a baby. Congratulations. Morning. First time on here getting unloaded in Nashville. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fantastic, my friends. Well, if you've been enjoying this, give me some uh, likes and love. What do we got on here? Um, and so it's just been a really powerful um, – let me see here. Hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's been really, really powerful to be able to to dig in and and um, sorry, one second, and to start to practice these new ways, right? And when we realize that the gap is created by us, we can change that gap. We can shift things around, right? It doesn't have to be. Things don't have to be the way they are. If they're the way they are and you love it, then fantastic. If they're not, then realize that you do have a choice in the matter. A lot of people think they don't have a choice and things are just the way that they are. But we can start to make things and shift things and create things and, and, and have things be different. And today, right now, you can either choose to keep carrying the past with you. It's this huge weight that essentially you're carrying with you into every present moment. And what I realized today that's been really powerful that I want some of you to think about, and I've been catching myself a lot, there are things at times that you did or tried, say, six months ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And since then, you've grown and you've learned and you've, you've evolved and changed but you still take the past you that did that activity that could be an activity that could work for you and you bring that baggage into the present. You go, well, I did X, Y, Z and that didn't work. Well, you did X, Y, Z as the old you. But right now you have a choice to be a new you. And the new you would treat that relationship different, that business, that phone call different than the old you. And every single day, there can be a new you. There can be a new me. I'd sound a little crazy and out there, but I, I'm telling you, anything you hear me talking about now moving forward and probably the last three months, um, a lot of it, it just started to click. It just started to make sense because for a number of years, people would say things about my energy and my smile and blah, 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 and all these things, and I would reject it. Right, Because we want to make it about the tangible. We want to make it about our video or writing or whatever. And it is about those things. But at times, we look and we see why is somebody else, if you are comparing, doing what you're doing and they're getting far different results and you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm a better shooter than them. I'm a better editor than them. I'm a better writer than them. Because there's so much at play below the surface that we cannot see. Now, when you tried certain things before, you might have again tried them when you didn't know what you know today. And so rather than keep going, well, that doesn't work. I already did that. Or that doesn't work. I already know that. You know, something I also say a lot is just because we intellectually understand it doesn't mean that we embody it, right? Appreciate it. Yeah, if it's resonating, put resonate in the comments. Uh, and uh, let me know if you have any other comments or questions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jet off of here shortly. It's a good chunk of people on, but I'm going to uh, – got a lot to do this week. So – I'm going to keep bringing you the fire. Again, if you're new to here, uh, you can download my audiobook if you want to get more depth into my journey and light a fire in your rear end. Uh, you can download my uh, Massive Imperfect Action audiobook at takemia.com. If you want to go to the mindmechanic.net, you can check that out there. That's a little bit more about how I work one-on-one uh, -on -one with people. And um, yeah, Monday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, most days I'm getting on here now and doing a little morning mind tune-up. And then on Wednesdays, I do a live show on Zoom where you can get some one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you want to uh, have any interest in that, please send me a message. You can follow me on my uh, personal Facebook page here. Lots of inspiration being cranking out, cranking out there. And uh, 
I just want to wish you all an absolutely incredible, incredible week ahead. I'll be here with you to give you your little tune-ups and tweaks to have you moving forward empowered and excited about what's to come rather than fearful and scared and uh, full of frustration. So, my friends, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And if you enjoyed this, give it some likes and love. And uh, fuel to the fire, my friend. Put some gas in that tank. So, appreciate you, Danny, Joshua, and all those, Felix, Raymond. Appreciate you all being on here today. And I uh, hope you found that valuable. So, rock and roll, my friends. And uh, da, 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 da. hold on. I think there's a few of you new. I'll end with my... Uh, little video so you can see that uh, things can change. I love sharing this. So let me share this little uh, uh, transition with y'all. In 10 years, I hope to uh, have a very successful business um, with my video production stuff. Um, as you can tell, I'm not the actor. <laughs> not at all. Um, I, I like to be behind the camera in front of this, you know, putting stuff together. An amazing 2011. I started with nothing, and um, I've just surrounded myself with really good people. And you know, anything's possible. I'm kind of goofy and uh, kind of awkward in front of the camera, because again, I like to be behind it. Hey everybody, it's Michael Gavin here, and I'm super excited to be with you on Wednesday. We're going to do this video in 60 seconds or less. Thank you very much. Just kidding. All right, let's go at it. So I am fired up. Find what you're passionate about, but keep trying. Even in my trying to find what lights me up, I keep failing, I keep doing things, I keep trying so I can find that thing. All right, my friends, I just wanted to always share that. I love sharing that. I love that I have things from behind the scenes and back in the day to be able to share to hopefully provide some encouragement that anything, my friends, is possible. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Rock and roll.